Hi Scorpio, welcome to your monthly reading for the month of October 2015. I'd also like to say happy birthday to all you sultry Scorpios that celebrate your birthday in the month of October. So let's start with your planet um, movements uh, for this month. We have on the 8th Scorpio, we have Venus, the planet of love and money. Moving into your 11th house where we already have Mars there and Jupiter. So your groups, your hopes, your wishes, the organizations that you're part of and the things that can help you also make money from um, your business or certain endeavors that you'd like to um, to get yourself into. Venus is all about attraction. Entering into your 11th house is really just about attracting things into your life that is really going to help you um, in terms of progression uh, this month. You have Saturn that just moved from your first house to your second um, in your possessions and the things that you value, Scorpio. So there is a focus on what it is that's important to you in terms of your money and in terms of just you, what you feel um, is uh, very important to you in terms of that. The first card that I got for you, Scorpio, is the Golden Opportunity card. And I think this is such a beautiful card. When I got this card, I was happy for that. I was like, yes, yeah, I'm happy the Scorpios are finally going to push forward. The first, um, the first message from this card is opening doors, important doors, excuse me, are opening for you right now, Scorpio. So walk through them. Um, this is really about being open to receiving, um, Scorpio. Anything good that's happening in your life right now, be open to receiving it. You deserve it. You've had a really long haul with Saturday in your first house, really grounding you, really trying to get you to really understand or really discipline yourself in certain things that you feel is important to you and actually solidifying that for you. So this also means um, also getting help and support from friends and um people that care about you, even in your love relationships, and also even from your children, really just getting support, um, support being there for you. Uh, on the ninth, you have Mercury, which has been retrograding in your 12th house of undoing uh, for some time now. It's finally going to go uh, direct in your 12th house of undoing addictions and um, spirituality, house of secrets, really. Um, and it's been retrograding in the sign of Libra. Libra rules uh, your, I mean, partnerships and relationships. And it's really, with this um, retrogration in uh, your 12th house, you've really been thinking about how it is that you've been getting in your way uh, in your life. Uh, you've been really thinking and focusing about how is it that you can stop that. Uh, with Mercury going direct your thinking process the way you're going to communicate in terms of that is actually really going to be a lot helpful for you your birthday is coming up your solo year is approaching so a lot of um self-evaluation on how you can really stop doing things you used to do before and then you have on the 12th a new moon in your 12th house alongside with mercury your communication is going direct already the way that you're going to be looking at things so you're setting new intentions as well with the moon here it's also about emotional renewal in the in the way that you're going to be looking at things um in the way of your addictions you might you might really stop some bad addictions in your life around this time as well just to help you set new intentions on things this new moon in libra is also about your approach to confronting partnerships as well um scorpio confronting old issues and truths your truths in partnerships and setting really new goals regarding your one-on-one -on -one relationships and your partnerships in marriage and also your business partnerships as well. Saturn is in your second house, really trying to ground you with that, with um, in terms of your money and your possessions, things that you own. So you may have a new perspective, a um, new perspective on your personal relationships. And there's going to be certain solutions that you're going to be able to um, to really deal with. It's a better time to make decisions as well with Mercury going direct in your 12th house. And then on the 23rd, Scorpio, we move it on down uh, to the sun, the spotlight coming on you in your first house of self. And the second card that I got for you, Pisces, um, excuse me, Scorpio, is independence. Now, this is a pretty, pretty self-explanatory card in terms of what it is that you need. So your independence is a foundation of your strength and success. Now... Scorpios are very resilient, strong. Uh, you're very resilient, strong water sign. It's very easy for you to regenerate and really go through processes of things, understand things psychologically, what's happening. You tend to really um, zone into what the problem is. So 
You have the sun coming into your first house now, Scorpio. Spotlight is on you. What do you want to do in this, um, with this new independence, this newfound freedom of yourself and how you understand yourself even more? So basically about prioritizing things, making your own decisions with a lot of things with this card. Um, also needing a lot of affection. Um, you want your independence, but you also want uh, companionship. Uh, and it doesn't have to be uh, love companionship. It can just be in terms of your your way of looking at things now. You might want to be um, in alliance with people that probably resonate more with the way that you're feeling or things that you're really interested in around this time as well. So it's also about asking for your needs to be met. I mean, this new moon in your 12th house is regarding your relationships with one-on-one -on -one people and the way that you get in your way of yourself with that. So if you're not asking for your needs to be met, Scorpio, you're not really going to get them met. You, you know, Scorpios tend to be in silence sometimes, depending if you have um, a lot of strong placements in um, other um, elements as well. Sometimes you tend to be a little bit more introverted and not really tell people what it is exactly that you need from them it's very important around this time at this time especially with saturn after saturn transiting your first house going into your second that you be vocal about what is it you need um in terms of relationships going forward any type of relationship so um that's a real big focus for you this month too and it's your birthday so the energy everything is on you the universe is asking you what you want and then on the 27th, you have a super full moon in your seventh house of relationships and partnerships and marriages and commitments that you have one-on-one um, -on -one with other people. So you're going to be evaluating all the relationships in your life. Really, you've already been evaluating all the relationships in your life, seeing which should stay, which should go, which is hindering you, which is not, which is helping you. And the second, the third and the last card that I got for you for this month, Scorpio, is... Easy does it. So we're not going to take our time here because I'm also a Scorpio and I know how the emotions can really get you, get us round up. So this card is speaking about there's no need to hurry or force things to happen, Scorpio. Everything is going to occur in perfect timing. Perfect timing. So super full moon in your seventh house of partnerships and relationships, one-on-one -on -one relationships. Um, Make time for your relationship and projects that truly count to you that really re that really are important to you um and that really truly count to your heart like and do doing what's important for you um really um trying to be devoted to things that really um are going to be important to you and then really easing into this new um found um life of yours or this or this new way of thinking, or maybe just you've been letting go of a lot of things and really thinking in your head about a lot. It's really good that you just go be patient with yourself with this evolution, be patient with yourself with the growth process.